Hello friends. Welcome to the next video of the series of tariff determination process in India. We continue to cover energy requirement aspects in the tariff determination process. In this video, we will discuss renewable purchase obligation or in short RPO. Hope you remember that distribution companies have the option to buy power from different sources of power, which include renewable sources. To begin with, we will know what is RPO. RPO stands for Renewable Purchase Obligation. It is basically the obligation on the entities, which include distribution companies, open access and captive consumers, to buy a certain percentage of the power consumed from renewable sources of energy in a year. In case of the distribution companies, usually RPO are determined on the basis of the total power consumption, excluding the power procured from large hydropower plants. Generally, RPO is classified in three categories, which are solar RPO, non-solar RPO and hydro RPO. However, many states have further subcategory within non-solar RPO. These categories are provided in RPO regulations by state commissions and RPO trajectory for years is also provided in these regulations. Let us see if RPO targets under these categories will be met. Solar RPO are met only by purchasing solar power. Non-solar RPO are met by renewable sources excluding solar and large hydropower. This means wind, biomass, waste energy and small hydro. Hydro RPO or in short HPO are met by power from large hydro plants, more than 25 megawatt capacity, which are commissioned after 8th March 2019. Apart from the power purchase from the generating stations directly, there are various other options to comply with RPO targets which are as follows. Renewable Energy Certificates, REC, and Power Procurement from Power Exchanges from Market Tools like Green Turn Ahead Market and Green Day Ahead Market. How do distribution companies report their RPO-related information in tariff orders? On the basis of the energy balance, the distribution company reports the total power requirement and the RPO target for each year of the control period. Based on this, the distribution company determines the power required from renewable sources. Distribution companies report the total power requirement for each RPO category and power procurement from various sources, sometimes even bifurcated at plant level, including power under net metering, and then determine if the RPO targets will be met or not. In case of shortfall, they usually estimate the REC procurement and cost burden due to this. Hope you found this video informative and got a good sense of RPO. We will continue to discuss the tariff determination process in upcoming videos. Comment below to share your views on this tariff series. Like and share the video. Also, subscribe to the channel to see more such videos in future.